Hello and welcome to A Bug Man's Life. Today we are taking a look at my Camponatus maculatus queen and how to set up a starter colony. My Camponatus maculatus queen finally has four workers that all emerged last night. So let us take a look at this starter colony and how to set it up. As you can see, these workers are minute and they are known as minor workers. It will be a while before this colony produces normal sized workers, but as soon as they start to forage and the queen lays new eggs, then you will start seeing normal workers within the colony. And it might take up to two or three years before I see major workers within this same colony. To set up this starter colony, we will need a small plastic tub and some sand, as well as a small piece of glass or plastic. You have to ensure that the sand is completely dry, otherwise your ants might decide to move into the sand instead of staying in their test tube, and this is definitely not what you want. So to set up this starter colony, what you do is you put a thin layer of sand in the bottom of your container, then you put down your piece of plastic which will be where you place the ants food. You then take your test tube with your starter colony in, remove the front cotton plug and place it within this small container. Afterwards, you close it quickly so that they don't escape and bite you. You can now leave them for a day or two before you start feeding them. You can then start feeding them a small drop of honey or some crushed insects because you don't want to feed these small guys live insects because if the insect is too big, the ants might get hurt. The best way to kill your insect though is to place it in the freezer for an hour or two until it's completely dead. Then you remove it and either cut it up into two or three pieces so that the ants can access the insides or you can just crush it between your fingers until the insides pop out. And that is the best way to feed your ants. Now that you know how to set up a starter ant colony, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at The Bug Man's Life to see what I get up to in the meantime. Otherwise, Go share this video with a friend and hit that subscribe button. Then I will see you guys next time. <laughs>